Hi, my name is V, and I am the author of Memoirs of a Forgotten Child. If you have been with me for the last five vlogs, then you would know that I am doing a daily vlog countdown until my book release on February 14th, also known as Valentine's Day. Today, I will be discussing the foreword. Yesterday, I was discussing what's actually in the chapters. And I briefly went over the forward and I briefly went over the afterthought. I want to share with you the forward today and tomorrow I'll be sharing with you the afterthought. So let's get to it. Forward, thoughts of the book before reading. I wasn't sure if I wanted to even write this book. It was like life was giving me signs and confirmations for me to get to writing. I spoke to a few people candidly about the experiences I had survived. They advised me to write a book. I rejected the idea instantaneously. I'm a private person. Sometimes people misconstrue my mystery attitude as shy, anger, or arrogance. I got asked enough times where I said, man, maybe I should. From there, I asked a few people if they really would support an idea like this or care to read it. They adamantly said yes. I picked up an old notebook I had laying around and wrote March 4, 2014, the day's date, followed by, I was born, ellipsis. I was sure I would be vague and stop at 300 pages. I mean, really, who's going to read beyond that and y'all need to mind your business. My memories flooded out of my head, conducted to my pen, I like writing with pens, and drew beautiful, complicated, ugly, pure murals made out of words, my words, words I never spoke, words I thought of, words I wish I said, words I lost, words stolen from me. I cleared out four three-subject notebooks and one five-subject notebook and a half. Granted, I write big and sloppy depending on my mood. On January 23rd, 2015, I was done with writing. The editing kicked my butt to the point of insanity. Then I fell over, but a branch caught my fall from landing inside the pit of quitting. The branch that caught me, I named it Purpose. This book taught me purpose, patience, and focus. Not even college gave me this. I have so much respect for editors whose job is to pay attention to details. Anywho, yes, who, not how. You'll learn very quickly I have my own beat and make my own rules. On December 20th, 2015, I completed my last finishing touches to the ebook version of Memoirs of a Forgotten Child to make it available on February 14th, 2015, Valentine's Day. Nothing says I love you than you coming into loving yourself. I'm done with my rambling. I hope this book enlightens you on my life but life in general, and that no matter what you go through in it, the ultimate decision to be happy and live your life how you want to is in your hands. Thank you for reading. I appreciate you, even if you don't get past this page. Happy reading. Sincerely, Vanessa Whitney Cena, aka V. Be the best person you can be because everyone else is taken. V. The reason why I felt the need to write that forward is because it's honest. Like, this book, I feel, it's nothing like any book you've ever written before because it's just honest. I didn't care about being politically correct. I didn't care about feelings. I didn't care about what it hurt people's emotions or people's beliefs. I just wrote purely how it was. And not just saying that books don't write sincerely, it's just that no one writes about abuse. Unless it's on some vague, I've been there, I've done that, girl power, wrapping in a pretty girl. No one tells you in detail. No one is a graphic. No one tells you the torment. No one tells you how much it affects you and it guts you. And I feel like with this book, I was very detailed. I elaborated. I gave you I gave you a feeling where you felt that you were there, that you felt that you experienced it. There were a couple times when I was editing and I read it. I had to put it down because I was just like, it's too much. And I want it to be too much. I want it to be so bold, so blunt that you can't turn it down. And if you do turn it down, you're just so intrigued that you want to pick it back up. And that is the reason why it motivated me to continue writing this book. Because like I said, I wanted it to be 300 pages in very day. 
and it just ended up pouring out of me where all these feelings, these emotions, these thoughts, things that were never said. And I felt like this is the time to say it, but not just for me, but for other victims, for other survivors, for other overcomers to know that you're not the only one and that it's okay to just be and it's okay to just express and not care about who's going to say what, who's going to be offended, who's going to like you, who's going to cut you off because it's your truth. You should be allowed to speak in your truth. You should be allowed to walk in your truth. You should be allowed to have your truth. If you don't have anything else, you have your words, you have your truth, you have your experiences and no one can take that away from you and no one can belittle them or cut them. So that's why I felt the need to write that forward. Something to prepare you for what's in store because it's deep, it's deep. So just so you can really get a sense of what you're going into, I had to write this like FYI, this is what's going on, this is what you're going to get into. I hope you're prepared, if you're not, I'm going to prepare you as much as I can because once you dive in it, you might get lost. And it's okay to get lost. This is why, this is one thing I really want the readers to understand that it's not about who decides. It's not about who's right and who's wrong. As a child, that's how you process the world and black and white, good and bad. But as an adult, you see there's just many variations of gray. It's not even one color of gray. It's light gray, dark gray, medium gray, and so on and so forth. And I want you to see the intricate, complicated personalities of people. I want you to see from different point of views. Even when I was writing, I wrote from my child point of view, but then I intermingled it with being an adult and seeing it from their perspective. There's a lot of things as a child I couldn't understand. There's a lot of things I felt that were mean or done on purpose, but as an adult, I start to understand, not because I give them validation, I still think it's wrong, but now I can see different point of views. Now I can see where the mindset was. Also with being a psychology major, it really helps. But that's what I really want people to get from this book, just understanding. It's not really about who's right, it's not really about who's wrong, it's more so about understanding and getting something out of it. And hopefully it helps you. Hopefully it helps someone that you know. Because it's not necessarily expose on people and just downgrading them and talking negatively about them and just trying to bash people. It's not one of those books. It's one of those books where you get into it, you lose yourself, you find yourself, you get a message, you get an understanding, and then you move on. And hopefully it shapes you to do better in life. And if you know someone who's being abused, if you know someone who has been abused and haven't actually spoken their truth, hopefully you can supply this book to them and let them know that, hey, this person has been through the same things or similar things as you, and they've gone through it, and they've continued life. This is one stereotype about victims that I really, really, really disdain is the fact that there's no life after that. Like now you're permanently scarred with this event and everything in life revolves around this event. Like there's nothing else beyond that. And I want people to know, especially victims to know that there is life after this. Like this does not make you, this is not shape you. This is not the end of the world. This is not mark you for life and that's just what you're here for, that, that's just who you are now. It's not. So I can ramble forever on this topic, but I'm just gonna cut it here. Hopefully this gives you insight. If it does, please let me know or share it with someone you think it would. Hopefully this really does pertain to you and you are a victim. Hopefully one day you can speak your truth. That's something else about this book. I want everybody to speak their truth. Not necessarily if you're a victim, but just speak your truth. If you did do some things, if people can relate, speak on it. So, Like I said, this is a daily vlog countdown. This is vlog number six until February 14th. Valentine's Day when my book drops. Hopefully you'll be one of the people who purchase it. Be blessed and see you on the next vlog.